favor, puta, ah, qué chingado. Ah, ¡Viva México! Ay, oh, ah, ¡Qué rico! Ah, 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 John, excuse me. Oh, oh, Oye, mamita, oh, cuando te vea la próxima vez, que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? <laughs> And a me rougher, ¿eh? <laughs> What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Uh, who? Luisa. The girl from Campo Morada? Uh, her, I, a gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was incredible. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. She thinks she's your wife. <laughs> my wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. No, you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother... Que Dios la cuide, we're turning her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, huh? Yes? The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> come on, mi hermano. This is the day we have both been waiting for. Bien, vamos hermanos. My brother, I just received word of your fight with Allende's man at El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. I am happy it was your bullet jump after what he did to you in Chuparosa. I wasn't gonna give him a second chance to kill me. He must have felt good. Not particularly. He was hardly worth a bullet. Where are they, Abraham? They are at El Presidio, John. Can you believe it? The place we first met. The scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see, you should have trusted your brother, Abraham, all along. When we have them, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. I knew I had heard the name Javier Escuela before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious urges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. A cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, John, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, but no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course, but then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right now. When Dutch started falling apart, he did Javier harder than any of us. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he'd ever believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exact fondness. We was close once, but he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die. He had a chance to save me. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember Cabron being used a lot. 
Well, now you get to pay that cabron a surprise visit. I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williams. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I'll see you in there, amigo. Remember to jump, my friend. Friend, it's been a long time. Hey. Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not going to shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy, and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa. you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. You won't get me alive, John! <laughs> Damn! New clothes! What now? 
Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. We have to hold the fort, Gong. Use one of the cannons. Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. Well, it is a pleasant surprise, I must say. He's not looking very healthy. We told you to keep them alive. You should be glad to have them at all. Just remember your obligations to the government, Mr. Marston. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that uh, Dutch Vandalind is in the area. Your wife sends her regards. 